Motor Week is made possible by Tire Rack. As an automotive journalist, the top three questions I get are as follows. What's your favorite car? What's the fastest you've ever driven? And what's the Tesla Model S like to drive? Finally, I have an answer to that last question. And for the record, I've gotten over 150 miles an hour. This car is pretty amazing in the sense that it can pretty much be whatever you want it to be. It's got three steering modes, it's got two acceleration modes, so if you want it to be the family sedan where you're hauling the kids around, put it in comfort mode and you have a nice, relaxing, smooth, quiet drive. If you want it to be that insane sports car that you've seen all those YouTube videos of, put it in ludicrous mode, sports steering, slam on the gas pedal and you'll be rocketed around like you've never felt in your life. I know we complain a lot about touch screens and it being distracting while driving and trying to figure out what button you're pressing, but the screen is so massive. I mean, you can't miss what you're looking for. It's, it's kind of nice, actually. Let's take a look at some cold hard facts. The 90 in our P90D represents the 90 kilowatt hour battery powering the Model S. That's up, you guessed it, 5 kilowatt hours over the P85D, which Tesla says boosts the range by about 6%. The EPA, however, still rates it at 253 miles. Front and rear motors get upgraded to produce 762 horsepower and 713 pound-feet of torque, most of which comes from that rear motor. As I mentioned before, our P90D is equipped with an insaner insane mode known as Ludicrous. Alas, if you wish to go too fast, don't get too furious over the $10,000 it costs to equip the car with the Ludicrous speed upgrade. Don't worry though, Tesla will kick in a cool underline for your deck lid badge so you'll stand out from those who are okay with insane acceleration. We've got plenty more to cover on this silent sleeper, so tune into MotorWeek for a road test soon. Mm -hmm.